I want you to pay attention to this audio. Yeah, the audio that finally, I mean, opened up the sewer, the dirt, the dirt coming out from the camp of Wumi. And even Mobat's mother, you will hear what you have never heard before. This is deep. This is deep. I'm glad that Mubat's father found this platform where he's going to get justice from. In fact, Brekete has promised that Mubat's father will not leave the federal capital territory, Abuja, until he gets justice. Brekete knows that Mubat's father has gone round and round and he, like every other person, like every true person seeking for justice for Mubad, spotted that those that claim that they are the, 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 they are the agency, that they are the, the, the activists that we should all applaud and respect, he knows that these people are just, they, 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 they just pay lip service to justice. When he came to Justice for Mobile, they looked at it. Oh, well, this one, eh, it seems there are people that are connected to this one. If we step on their toes, um, they will not allow us to fly. This exposed, this made it visible to everybody. Now, people are now clear-minded. People now, people have now learned the ability to see beyond. Yeah. People can now see beyond their nose. Yes. And I'm glad for that. The justice for Mubad of a thing has opened up the minds of a lot of people. To those the masquerade, they've started understanding how human beings behave. They've started getting to know the complexity. They've started to see how this society of ours is shaped and structured. Still on justice for Mubad. Still on justice for Mubad. I want to say thank you once again, and I will keep saying thank you to those. I mean, you, you've done a lot. You've done a lot of sacrifice, time, and efforts into this justice for Mubad. You've done a lot. We have promised that we are going to stand by Mubad's father until we get justice because he is the only one. He is the only one that is seeking for justice for his son. No other person is doing this. Only Mubad's father is the only one seeking for justice. And because of this, we said we will be standing firmly by him. I want you to pay attention to this one. Yeah, pay attention to this video. Let our guests speak and we will in between analyze and discuss upon it. But before proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell if you have not done so to encourage this channel to do more. Why don't you join the winning team by tapping on that thanks button to encourage this channel to um, do more. For those who have done so, I say a very big thank you to you. Let us get right into it. Sorry, say we keep you for Abuja here. No, the reason why we keep you is because we believe, say, I here be your last bus stop. Even by staying here, I'm just feeling as if I'm with my family. Oh, my so, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. So I beg the the reason uh, because uh, as you come Abuja soon, yes, sir. you are not going back without justice for Mubad. Amen. Amen. By Amen. the grace of God. Amen. The people where God go use <laughs> make we get this uh, justice. May God Almighty bless, protect as well as provide them with the wisdom to go about this. Amen. And Amen. the detractors, the ones we weigh there against justice, God, you know them. You know them. You know them to their veins. May you give them what they deserve. Amen. May you give them what they deserve. Amen. May you give them what they deserve. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah. Uh, somebody request yesterday say he get one video or uh, call where they call whether or not threat then they threaten you Abina, but she don't explain what it be. Make we hear. 
Uh, if please, if you are ready. Hello. Baba. Where's my phone? You can't talk. Where's my other phone? Where's my phone now? Talk now. This is not your phone. My stores are dead. Where's my other phone? Yes, I let me open the phone. Let's let's prepare the phone. Where is my other phone? Where is my old WhatsApp? We share the same mic platforms with me and you, Abi. Go on the WhatsApp. We share law. Where's my line? Where's everything? You want to say you have to find post after Abi. To go to Brazil, go to Abi. To go to Paris. To do my post conversation. We have to find post Abi. Oh, oh, my coco. You mean you want to pay for it? You want to pay for it? Oh, you need to pay for it. My worry me. Oh, my coco. You want to go for me? You want to like, like, like. To buy a bed, you should tell it, tell it. It's in jail. It's literally a bitch. I pay you for like, like, like. Switch to my living room. For like, like. I will never be shaking. I want to go. Where's my phone? You can't talk. Where's my other phone? Where's my phone now? Talk now. This is not your phone. My stores are dead. Where's my other phone? Yes, I let, let me open the phone. Let, let's prepare the phone. Where is my other phone? Where is my old WhatsApp? 
share the same my problems with me and you have been. Why you was up with law? Where's my line? Where's everything? You want to say, you have a friend post after me. You want to say, you have a post conversation with me. post conversation with me. You have a Oh, my God. You want to say, you have a post conversation with me. You have a post conversation with me. Oh, my God. You have a post conversation with me. Let me tell tal, tal, me. Uh, he said, This voice will hear so now between him and a late son wife. Eh? Yes. yes, sir. Okay. 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 So it just that thing mo mi o mi o ton phone mi mo je ton phone no buy on we ni mo gbo with strange number so i we dey to pe ni he saying go for mountain go for 3 days prayer and he off in phone so as in the round up the prayer they on in phone now this call enter and a different number we say no he no know how whip and after as the call enter now nah, waiting in here be that madam president but we are not sure she's the one then she's the one i know her voice mm -hmm. okay madam president a serious cause i repeat i'm here he talks the the he rain cause on the baba talks say the baba no go do well life no go better for him this fact madam only thing come back to the she young ah think about the show more only more to power more to me, but to fair power more. You be it that it the talks if anything do your own mama, that is the mother in law be that. That's her own her mama. Own mama. Yeah. Mm. And if something even do your own grandson way in the talk now, say me they do their day test where they ask questions. Mm. And see, because I say don't kill your own son, so and he wants to kill uh, her own. Let me repeat him again. Okay, I beg, I, make one, uh, no vex, make one, I repeat him. Then, this time around, if you need me, them pause. You go just give signal. I go do you. I go signal you. You go signal them. Then they go pause. Then you translate or oh, you listen to them well, well. Then you will summarize. Hello. Uh, yeah. Yes, my ordinary president. Uh, they call with the woman call. He uh, the cause when he when I cause he calls the man because he talks. Say if anything do her mama, if anything do her mama, say he no go better for the man, and say as he don't kill his own son, so we be uh, late more bad. Say he won't kill his own son, we be the grandchild. Say he no go better for the man no na cause na in rain on the on uh, father in law serious cause. So now, you yes, sir. You I did not say anything because she have already introduced herself. Okay, me old son koko, old koko ju we arrive. See me there tomorrow we pay address tomorrow. 
Uh, is there no talk anything because one, as he start to introduce herself. Oh, she mentioned her name. Yes, from the beginning. No, uh, play him again. Make her hear. The father, the uh, late Mumbai father, was down here. Say that name where she mentioned in between where be promise. Mm -hmm. Say that promise now Mumbai too. They bear that name too, so that many people no come they confuse her who be promise. Mm -hmm. uh, he talks that promise now Mumbai too. They bear the name promise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now waiting. Serious serious yes, sir. Now, and her really daughter in law, yes, sir. The all in the name say on her, on uh, father in law, all in the and name say he kill her husband. And it is say if he kill his son, like as he kill his husband, say if anything happened to his son, he no go better for him. And it is a go if he kill the mother, if those are the causes when he rain on the man. Thank you, thank you. And yeah. he talks, say he no talk anything because he just come back from the three days man, uh, mountain. When three days when he goes man, for mountain, go do prayers, and he no mention anything according to the uh, Mobad father where they hear so. Okay, now next clip, clip. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? You can't talk. Where's my other phone? Where's my phone now? Talk now. It's not, it's not your, your phone. My stores are dead. Where's my other phone? Yes, I let, let me open the phone. Let, let's prepare the phone. Where's my other phone? Where's my old WhatsApp? We share the same plans with me and you, Abby. My only WhatsApp we share law. Where's my line? Where's everything? You want to say, you have to find post after Abby. To go to Bassi, go to Abby, to Bassi, to Abby. To do my post conversation, but to go post Abby. Go. Oh, Moko, you no worry now. No worry. Go shop, Bami What's about Kulin? Go buy you pata pata. You wash your Where's my phone? You can't talk. Where's my other phone? Where's my phone now? Talk now. It's not, it's not your, your phone. My stores are dead. Where's my other phone? Yes, I let, let me open the phone. Let's prepare the phone. Where is my other phone? Where is my old WhatsApp? We share the same mic plans with me and you, Abby. My only WhatsApp we share law. Where is my line? Where is everything? You want to say, you have to find post after Abby. To go to Bassi, go to Abby, to Bassi, to Abby. To go to my post conversation, but to go to post Abby. Go. Go, my coco. You want to go to my post conversation, but to go to my post conversation. Go. Go, my coco. My worry, my... Go, my coco. You want to go to my family, you want to like, I like. To buy a bed, you share the letter, the letter. As in jail, he live my bishop again. One night, and I swear to my living God, one night I will never be shut I want to go. You come and see. I shot him on the bed. You go. Yeah, you look busy. You look. You busy. You look. You look. I'm in jail. You're a bad guy. You do fair by me. You be sure you grow up. No worry now. No worry. You be sharp by me, Abi. You go to the police. You go buy your pata pata. You go share with me. Swala. Mm-hmm.
Okay, are we back? Yes, sir. Are we back? Yes, sir. Akaramakala. My diary president. I won't beg our followers for all the social media platforms. We be Yoruba. We are the ones where they understand Yoruba language well well. May they help us they translate for comment section waiting they hear. But now make we hear from you. Yes, the sir, my ordinary president, the, from the beginning of this conversation, uh, the father might be don't ask the father, is in a late mobile voice be that. He they ask, say where in phone. Where in phone will be say carry conversation, where we say a WhatsApp number, where we say carry conversation. Say he get the conversation with it. Yeah, he bless say he they hide that one so that when he die, when he kill and finish, now that one he won't post where people go see, where people go hear. Who they talk that? Now, Mobad they talk this one. Oh, late let Mobad, Mobad voice be that voice according to the father because I find out from the father say which voice be this then a late Mobad voice. Then he can't they talk say, Oh. You won't hide that one because when I die, then you go compose. Say, be one. If anything happened to Ram, everybody know. Ingo make sure say the whole world. That's the whole world go know say now nah, she kill him. One, he get cloth when he talk say no go wear. He carry the cloth put for his neck. He wear Ram the cloth that because he won't kill him. And if he says now nah, waiting that they do, we and the family they do before before. Say this one, now it will be the one, we go be the last one, we go expose all of them, which they don't they do before. Because if in die, the whole world go no say, now him, now them, kill him. Now waiting they talk there, be that for this uh, this last one. You sure? My ordinary president. Now waiting when I hear be that. You, uh, uh, no. You make them play them again. And like as he start, he start with. Um, English, the acts of where you phone, and then you can't reach when you turn to Yoruba. Talk say, ah, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, that is, it, it, uh, now one kill me. Now, waiting, uh, now don't they do before, before this one now? Now, it will be the last way on I go do. And he can't use Yoruba ring cost on them. Um, the cost nobody would stay with something was a book ahead. Mm. So, and he can't talk him for there. He say he get cloth where he talk. Say he know the wear. He can't carry the cloth put when, for his head. When he sleep, come put on. Talk to the mic. Can't carry the. When we last sleep, he can't wear and that cloth. Now you buy the speaker. Okay. Yeah, you got your money soon. What you be ashamed? What you be? What you be slowly? Yeah. Now be the he carry the cloth where he say no go wear. Mm. And he can't carry and put for his head. I see they sleep and in for the talk way he talk, he no mention saying they sleep. Mm -hmm. He just talks say he carry the cloth put for his head. Mm -hmm. That is and he talks saying no go wear the cloth. Mm -hmm. So say it he won't that is he won't just kill him. Mm -hmm. And it is say if he kill him and uh, or if they kill him, they go go scot free. Say it be people where they teach her what they should go do. If now waiting, they don't they do before her and her family, don't they do before? Then at this one, now you go be the last one where they go do, and at this one, now you go expose them because if he die, the whole world go no say, now nah, she kill him. He. Here we are. Here we are. This is what Wumi, the wicked widow, and her family. And of course, those that are part of a wicked, evil act. This is what they don't want to hear. No, not at all. They don't want to hear this. They don't like this. No, not at all. They are not happy with this one. No, they are not comfortable with this. What they want is to continuously redirect, sidetrack, deviate, pull away. Deceive. That's all they are interested in. They want us to take our eyes away. They want us to focus on what we should not be focusing on. You see, the energy that Wumi and her family and our evil online friends and uh, family members, whatever it is, mentor or mentors, supporters, group of wicked people, Bad people, all of them, whatever it is that they think, 
within themselves. Whatever it is, I don't understand how they think they will pull us away from the right path, the path of true justice. You see, the more I look at it, the more it becomes glaring that Wumi is guilty. Obviously, she's a prime suspect, even though the Nigerian police have um, you know, rearranged and packaged because of, obviously, the mother and who the father of that child is. Yeah, the father of that child and the mentor of Wumi and also Wumi's mother, they are the ones behind the scene running the show. They are the ones running the show, making calls, begging those that they want uh, those that are, you know, in charge of setting things to cover up. To cover up like, hey, hey, we never knew this was going to be like this. That boy called Mobad is just like, you know, something that just came in between what, please, do not allow whatever it is, you know, do not allow it to come out to light. Because if it does, we will be put into, you know, and they do not want to. So they felt like, okay, you know what, let us rise up and put a stop to justice for Mubad. You might be wondering who are these people. Obviously, few of them came out. They spoke. They supported Bumi. You know the mentor that I'm talking about. Those that they call Queen this Queen Mother. Uh -huh. When a human being is called Queen Mother, not because she's from a royal family, not because she acted in a movie that gave her that title. Queen Mother. Queen Mother of what? Now, that is a refined name, polished name for what they call those madame. You know, madame in Italy. They have those madame in, in Paris, in France, and, and they have people working underneath them. So, Wumi is said to be one of those people that work underneath. They use what they have to get what their queen mother needs and what they also need. Now, let's file that somewhere. A name came up. It has to be established. And DNA will establish this one. A monarch got attached to the whole of the story. That's one. Now, Umi's mother, a, a police officer, former police officer, I don't know what she did. Was she sent out, sent away on pension, or, or she committed some terrible thing and she was pushed out? Let's leave that aside. The more Umi our family and our team, our supporters, the more they are trying to take us away from looking and searching into Wumi and our connection to the RIP of Mumbai, the more they make it look glaring that there is something to hide. One of the telltale signs of a criminal guilty person is what they are manifesting this is what Wumi is manifesting up to the point whereby Wumi's lawyer will say no we can't we will not give room to dna by now for the sake of oh moba's father lost a son we know that moba's mother is not she's not a normal person we know that already i don't want to call her a wicked woman mm, she's not a normal person if someone lost his son in this gruesome manner, I want to believe that the least that you can do to console that family is to say, oh, hey, daughter, do not even say you will not uh, consent to DNA. How dare you? Are you stupid? They lost their son and they want DNA for the child. Do this and do not allow people to even point fingers at you. Because they know that that child is not Mobad's own. That is the reason why they have refused for DNA. They know DNA will rope, finish, jail Wumi. Once the DNA comes out, the next stage is let us establish motive on the RIP surrounding this. Let us, because the Nigerian police killed the case. Or maybe Wumi and her group killed the case. Wherever it is, killed the case. First of all, they said they do not have any, any at all, any CCTV clip 
apart from the one that they showed to us, the one that they released, that's what they claim they have. So it means every other clip has been deleted, destroyed, or the police kept it, handed it over to Umi's mother. Like, hey, madam, this one and this one and this one could cause your daughter problem, so we are going to take care of it. <laughs> you know how these guys, how they operate? And uh, maybe back then, Mumi's mother had done some cover up for certain people and be like, oh, Kai, hey, look, this is the time for you to do for me what I did for you guys in those days. We covered up this and that. We covered up this. I covered up this for you. So it's time for you to cover my ass. So come, do it now. My daughter you ain't going to jail, right? You, you know how these people operate. She is not going to jail. So get rid of incriminating evidence against my daughter. Hmm. Now, Mubaz father said he spotted blood. And like I've said previously in other analysis, I said the only mistake Mubaz father made is not to have recorded what he saw when he got to Mubaz's house. Because this is what these criminals, these wicked people, this is what they are working with. They are pretending, acting like, oh, you know what? There is nothing. Mubaz's father didn't see blood. And if he did, he should come and explain to us why there was no blood on Mubad when he was in the car. When did Mubad even, when did he RIP? Was it after they had done clean, cleaning him up and doing all of that? You know, the blood, everything, like, let's package him. Let's package him. Did they kind of, what, what exactly is this thing? What exactly is this? They said they didn't see blood in the car. I'm kind of looking at that video again. I'm kind of imagining that video. The other guy was recording and one guy placed his hand on the chest of Mobad. Where did that cut come from? That is what we want to know. Where did the cut come from? At home and inside of his casket. Because we can connect what his father said together. One, we saw blood in the casket. Two, the father said he saw blood, duvet. In his home so there is something about that video where they screamed and shouted that mubad is done mubad is gone did they take him home and took him out they stabbed his neck or what exactly is it what happened and because they had already posted that one and they are taking it taking him home what happened we want to know you all heard the audio recordings for those we we'll probably didn't get the full detail of it. One of the audio call was that of Wumi, where she threatened Mubad's father, all because the man requested for DNA. The man, had, the man has not granted any interview or said anything derogatory about Wumi. He only quoted what his son said. My son said, this lady did this and that. Now, he didn't dwell on it, so it will appear like his own son is a saint, and Wumi is not. After all, anyone can cheat. Mubad could have cheated. The problem here is this. The man said, in all of this, I ain't judging nobody, but for the sake of sanity, for the sake of integrity, for the memory of my son, for me to have a clear conscience, for me to know that well, I have lost my son. I cannot regain him. But at least let me do one thing. And I'm glad that he is ready to do this. You know, the man is kind of feeling bad. Like, I failed. I did try, but I failed. I failed. Mubad was entrusted to me. I already knew. Prophecies and visions were already said to me about him. I knew that there were dangerous things happening around him. But I kept... That's why Mubad's father would come spend time with Mubad, go back and forth. You know, he kept to monitor his son. If he had known, if the vision had been clearer, that Wumi would be the link to the RIP of Mubad, maybe he would have caught. But you know how these things come. Sometimes they tell you in part. They tell you like a proverb. Sometimes it is not clear. And it could be that he was told certain things and now he's regretting like I was told, but I was the one running around 
because she's not pregnant and I thought I was doing it for my son. Running around. Just imagine. He was doing that. So he's guilty of sending things inside of him. Like he's, he's feeling guilty. Like if I had known, if I had known, if I had known, it would never have been like this. Now, the only thing he has to do, apart from autopsy report that we are all waiting for, the only thing he has to do now, now, is to make sure that DNA is done. He's putting his life and everything into it. I can see it. He's putting everything into it. So, the other one is that of um, Mubat's mother. You all know what Wumi said. But if you still don't know, let me just tell you a little bit of it before we go into what uh, Mubat's mother said. Wumi threatened Mubat's father. She wanted, you know, she was sent to cause some kind of altercation. One, Mubat's father said he was on a prayer ground. Definitely they were monitoring him. And after the prayers, most of the times you'll be instructed, do not get into any physical fight or argument with anybody. Because what you're dealing with is spiritual. Yes. So, the man didn't say a word. Wumi threatened him, said earthful words towards him, wanted him to get angry. But the man had already been told. And this Amaran is taking note of everything happening around him. He's not taking chances. So, he kept quiet. Wumi threatened. If you think you will get people to know the truth, dislike my, my mother, attack my mother, I will take you out. If you think... The way you took your son out, you will take my own little boy out. I will take you out. Useless man, bad man, wicked man, foolish man. There is nothing she didn't say. Nothing that didn't come out of her mouth to Mubat's father. He didn't say a word. He kept quiet. He moved on. Then here we have Mubat's mother. Say, oh, promise, promise. Promise is not mad. But... Those that said promise is mad are the people that you are with. Karimont was the person who said Mubad has mental problems. Not even the record label boss. Not even the record label boss. The record label boss simply said, I told him, if you've got problems with your mind from forgetting this, forgetting that, if you know you've got problems, I will pay to take you abroad for proper treatment. Do not mess up this thing. You have to deliver. Don't pretend and act like something is wrong with your mind so that you don't finish up your contract. If you've got problems in your mind, let us deal with it. Let us deal with it. That's it. So, it was Karimot, the sister, the family of Wumi were the ones that kept on peddling this narrative that Mubad had mental problems. When eventually, Karimot, the elder sister of Wumi, was was challenged on this she came out to say no that's not what i meant i simply said he had short time memory like he, he had he, 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 like he like he had a sorry not short time memory like he he, he, he was forgetting things like he, he was kind of moving towards dementia that was the one that us to believe that he was having problems with his mind she kept on repeating, no, that's not what I meant. This is what I meant. Blah, 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 blah. And we also saw a video where Mobad did some scan to know if there's anything wrong. Maybe he has a concussion in his head due to the, you know, altercation he had with the NDLA, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. The thing is that all of them together in the Mali House, they were on substance abuse. That's the truth. They were on substance abuse and they just don't buy. They probably will be peddling these things also. It's so terrible. If my bad father had known, if he had known, he would have done what he needed to do then. But then he felt like, let me be a father. Let me just, you know, embrace my son with, after all, back in those days too, you know, I wanted to marry Mubat's mother, Mubat's Parents said, uh, don't marry him. He's not as rich as what we want. We want you to go for another man that is more richer. So in this case, it felt like, okay, but regardless, I want to make sure that what is happening between my son and your daughter, that is Mubat's father speaking to the family of Wumi. 
I want to, I want to make sure that things are done orderly. How can my son have all of his things? I mean, documents of land, landed property, and many things here all in your hands. When it's not as if we live in the same environment, the same location. We are from the same place, from the same village. We we live like stone throw from each other. How can my son be interacting with you people this way? And I don't even know that he has this. Did you ask him, is your father aware that you have this? No. If you guys don't have some eating agenda, that is the first thing you guys would have done. Like, hey, inform your father. But because they know, they know. Now we heard from Wumi's other sister. She said she was the one that bought that particular part, piece of land. And they now resold it to Mubad. <laughs> they resold it to Mubad. She said she was one that bought that particular piece of land. They now resold it to Mubad. If Mubad didn't tell his father, this is how they would have kept that property. It was a trick. We are selling to you without documentation. That's what it is. We are selling to you without documentation. The elder sister already bought that land. Obviously had that document. Kept so, if Mubad was to scream later, if let's say Mubad in RIP or something that happened, and Mubad is to scream that I bought the land, they will say, where is the document? Proof. He has nothing to prove that he bought that land. So, these people have been into this thing for a long time. If you fall into their trap as a man, they will finish you. They will lick you up, empty you. If you say, hey, hey, they end up dropping you in your casket and they will throw in some charms to shut you down to shut your spirit down but Mubad's spirit said no mine will not be shut down the other audio Mubad could be heard saying if you take my life if you take me down if you delete me the whole world will know that you are the one exactly what is happening now is what Mubad said to Wumi exactly what is happening now that the whole world and truly the whole world the whole world will know about it. The whole world will fight your family. The whole world will, you people will be restless. And everything is coming to pass. Everything is coming to pass. Exactly what you said. Like you want to take my life. I told you not to put that charm on my head. Because I'm wondering what kind of cloth is that, that Wumi will be placing on the head of Mobad. And he said he doesn't want it. So sad. I don't know. Someone is placing something on your head and you are still living with that person like husband and wife. Like, you don't kick. Well, this is a lesson to young people or to anyone out there. Wow. So sad. So sad. So sad. Justice for mobile. That's what we are talking about. And that is what we will continue to talk about. Even if they like, let them come up with lies here and there. It will not hold water. It will not stand. It will not stand. All that they created, invented, none of what they have said is holding water. The truth can be connected together. The dots can be connected together. Mubaz's father has not said anything that we cannot connect together. Let us assume he lied that he saw blood, fuel, duvet. And what will make him lie? But let us say he lied. What about the one in the coffin that the whole world saw? We saw blood. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Come on. Wumi, what is wrong with you people? We saw blood in the coffin. Fresh. Fresh. In the coffin. We saw it there. We saw it there. So it means that what Mubad's father saw. Do not forget that Mubad was buried like in the next couple of hours. Let's say 24 hours. So that blood that the man saw, it is correct. It is the same that we saw in the coffin. It was bleeding from somewhere. It was bleeding from somewhere. They said it got injected and it uh, come on, come on. What is this nonsense? Wumi, did you call the father of Liam to come and attack him whilst you were cooking jollof rice or fried rice that you claim? Or were you cooking the, 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 the body part? Is that what you're doing? What exactly is this thing? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? What makes you think that you will get out of this one? You cannot get out of it. Liam is no more bad son. If he is, prove. Prove it to the world. Prove it to those that you guys screamed, asking that they should exhume. The same people you say they don't have the right. Even Mobad's mother came out to say, hey, nonsense. 
Even your own mother, Wumi, came out to talk trash. That we do not have the right to request for DNA. Who told you that we are the one? We are only re-echoing re what the father of Bobat said. We are only re-echoing it. Nothing more. We are not Mubad's uh, father or mother. But we are re-echoing what the father said. We are making it louder so that you guys will know that DNA would have been the least, the smallest consolation to Mubad's father. Like, I'm going to do this thing for this man for the sake of his son that he has lost so that he will know for certainty that he has a child again, a grandchild representing Mubad that is no more. Wicked souls, evil, evil souls, terrible people, bad people, bad people. Ah, this life is full of, I don't know. This life is full of terrible people. And at the end of it, they now came up with a will. Will. And test last testament, last testament and will or whatever. They now came up with it. This will, they now presented it with a thumb print of Mubad. That means Mubad was lifeless, bleeding. And they now took his thumb print. Heartless family. Mubad already said it. He said, This is what your family has been doing. This will mark the end of it. And it is true. They have been ripping people off. They have been shutting people down spiritually, physically, using Mubad, Mubad, Mubad. He knows that the mother of Umi is a police officer. She has been using her position to take people out, to do terrible things. Maybe that's why he was afraid. Maybe that's why he was afraid. I don't know what you guys think about this one. Drop your comment. See you in the next update.